to seek to thirst Awaken first love Awaken first love Come awake And do as you did Yes. 
thank you that you are filling this place. That you have come to be here with us. Jesus, we want to pour back, back praise to you. Hear our praise and be blessed, God. We're now going to go into a time of singing and praying from the word of God. Tonight we'll be reading from Psalm 65, verses 1 through 8. If you have your Bibles, find it and read along. Psalm 65, verses 1 through 8. Psalm 65, verse 1. Praise awaits you, our God, in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. Lord, we come with only praise, with only adoration, with full declaration of your glory. In your presence we learn who you are, who we are, and you reveal the sacrifice you want from us. Ours are not empty vows, because we make our vows in obedience to you and adoration of you. We come to fulfill our vows to you. We bring a sacrifice of praise. We are, lay our lives at the foot of your throne. We do not fulfill vows out of fear, duty, or aspiration. We come to you in thanksgiving. We will keep coming and keep praising. Our vows to you are lovely and we love to carry them out. you up in this place tonight, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, we praise you, Lord, we praise you, Lord, I bring the sacrifice of praise, I make vows to
who answers prayer. To you we come and lay all things at your feet, every burden, every doubt, every question. You who answer prayer, it's to you we come and lay it all down. Oh, Jesus, you, your eyes and your ears are open. How can I resist you, Jesus? You fulfill all my needs. How can I resist you? Jesus, you fulfill all my needs. How can I resist you, Jesus? You fulfill all my needs. How can I resist you, Jesus? You fulfill all my needs. How can I resist you, Jesus?
65, verses 3 and 4. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you chose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. Lord, we were overwhelmed by sin. There was no way out. Instead of casting us away, you drew us near. You called our names in the midst of our sin. You forgave us. You saw us in darkness and forgave us into your light. You've called us out and you've invited us in. Your home is our home and we love your temple. Keep bringing us nearer, draw us near. We want to live nowhere but in your presence. You are good. You invited us to dwell with you and enjoy your goodness. I belong to the Father's house. It's where I live. It's where.
You put a new robe over me. You put honor and joy over me, Jesus. It's by your grace, it's by your blood, I am set free. I step into this truth tonight again. Step into this truth tonight That my Savior has died for me That my Savior has given me His blood That my Savior has washed me clean That my Savior has sent me apart That my Savior has sent me free that my Savior has given me a new life. That my Savior has given me a new breath to breathe. Jesus, you are my Savior. Jesus, you are my purpose. Jesus, you are my reward. Jesus, you are my purpose. Jesus, you are my portion. Jesus, you are my delight. There is the reason I live. Just take this time to declare who he is in your life personally feel very strongly that God wants us to look back that we are truly free from all condemnation all shame we are free he's washed us clean the sin is dead to us. The sin has no more power over us. And He's the God who has set us free through His Son, Jesus Christ. God, we ask that you grow us in this revelation tonight, Lord. You are renewing this revelation, God, that you are restoring the joy of salvation in this room, Jesus. Let's sing a new song to him.
mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength. You, O oh Lord, come when we cry for help in your mighty answer. You are God, our Savior. You are our hope. You have armed yourself with strength, and you are majesty. We trust in the one who holds our future protected. When you answer us, we stand amazed at your deeds. You do the impossible in a moment we could never imagine in a lifetime. Your strength and power are gentle with those you love. And you hear the smallest cry running as a father to his son. We cannot be shaken. You formed the mountains with the same hands that hold us secure. There is nothing that can move us.
singing from the Word of God, Psalm 65. Psalm 65, verse 7. You who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. God, when waves crash all around and the seas are roaring, you are still. You bring stillness and peace into the turmoil. While nations rage, your truth and justice overcomes. At your voice of peace be still, the seas stop their roaring. We will cease to worry, we are still. Your gentle voice of truth, wisdom, and safety is greater than the loudest voices of fear and self-preservation. We choose your voice, we choose your calm, we choose your safety within and above the waves of a raging sea.
is at peace You surround me with peace like the rivers You surround me with peace like no other Oh God, you surround me with peace like no other Jesus, you are filled with awe. God, your wonders are indisputable. Your power is irresistible. And when you put things all right, it just is. There is joy coming on the dawn, joy at the setting of the sun, joy in each work of your hands, joy in the midst of whatever threatens to shake us. We will fill the whole earth with this joy and awe. You call it out of us, your people, your creation children you call your own. We will answer and we will answer with joy. I will respond with joy to your goodness Jesus. I will respond with joy in every circumstance.
for Korea. Specifically, we'll be praying for the government of this nation. So here in this place tonight, take your place as co-heirs with Christ to stand in righteousness and intercession for this nation and its government. We are sons of the King. We are royalty. We have authority that is above the governing authorities of this nation. You might find it helpful to physically place the crown of authority on your head. Take up the scepter of righteousness in your hand. Prepare yourself to stand in the gap for Korea and her government. Please come into agreement with me as I pray along with the prayer points. And then raise intercession with your own voice as the Spirit leads you to pray through the topic. We're praying for thanksgiving and honor. We thank you, Lord, that you establish governments. We come to you confessing any contempt that we've held for the governing authorities you've established over us. Honor is due to the president, all the way down to the police on the street and the clerk at immigration. Let honor start with us, Lord. It begins with us. We renounce the spirit of contempt and we thank you for your wisdom in placing each man and woman in leadership throughout the Korean government. We pray blessings on each one. And we pray that a fresh spirit of honor would rush through this land to establish these leaders in the authority flowing from you. Let your justice flow through each one of the leaders and wisdom flow from their lips. We trust you for our good protection and your good plan over Korea. Let's pray. light shatters darkness shine your light to reveal and uncover all corruption throughout the entire government of Korea send your cleansing power through every branch of the government from top to bottom we declare freedom from all idolatry and fear holding captive the leaders to act out in fear or self-preservation break the agenda of the enemy let agendas of individuals parties, rulers, and principalities lose any foothold and wedges of division disappear. Bring supernatural unity through your ruling grace and power to deal with all correction quickly, swiftly, and with justice. Let's pray.
salvation and revival throughout the government of Korea. King of kings and Lord of lords, establish your law above the law of man in Korea. Meet the governing leaders face to face in gospel encounters that bring them into agreement with your law. Relying on your perfect justice and your perfect wisdom. We declare your truth, your righteousness, establishing laws, policies, through the mouths of men and women fully devoted to you. We break off deafness and blindness of the government leaders. Give them ears to hear, eyes to see, hearts to understand. Give them the desire to know you more. Draw them in deep, God. Let's pray. serving on the government mountain, those who are called to serve in the service of government. Lord, we thank you for calling your own to serve in seats of government high and low. We bless each believer with positions of authority in Korea. Fill their mouths with words from your heart of justice and righteousness. We declare favor and freedom over these called ones in their offices, in elections, in their dealings with every detail, in their spheres of responsibility. Do a work of fresh cleansing in the lives of all believers serving in government. Shower them with the grace and peace beyond what they've known before. Bring unity among these believers. Call out more believers from your church to rule in great places, to declare righteousness and truth. Let's pray.
the authorities you've placed over us. We thank you for the leaders that you've put in place. We cry out for those who do not know you and pray that you would bring salvation. And we lift up those who are believers on your mountain of government. Give them joy, God. We thank you that you are changing the government. That you are pouring out and breaking down walls. We thank you, Jesus. There's no place I would rather be No place I would rather be no place I'd rather be than here in your love, here in your love. There's no place I would rather be. No place I would rather be. No place I would rather be than here in your love, here in your love. So set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. yesterday's manna but Lord you give us new manna each day God you give us your spirit anew each day Father there's always more God there's always more so Lord we just step into that truth right now Father Lord, there's always more things to learn about Jesus there's so much more that we need to discover and to take in of who you are Jesus so we just come before you God as your people who are hungry and thirsty not for just knowledge and things God but we come before you as people who are hungry for more of you hungry for more of who you are God hungry for who you are as as joy to our lives Father God hungry for who you are as truth hungry for who you are as hope hungry for who you are as life God so Lord we just ask for more of you in our lives God and we ask that we don't miss out on this opportunity every time we gather here Lord to meet with you Lord that you are here to encounter your people to meet with your people so Lord we just release whatever that we've received here in this place over the government of Korea but we know that even though it seems so corrupted, it seems so chaotic, God, though you are God of order, though you establish your kingdom in the rightful places, God, so will we just declare here in this place, Lord, that your kingdom come upon the government of Korea, God, that your people will be strengthened today, Father. And the former things are gone, and you are doing a new thing, God, here in this nation. We trust you, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you are all blessed. Uh, continue to lift up uh, Korea in your heart as we are um, focusing on this nation this month. And uh, yeah, hope you hope you guys join us once again next week. We love we love you guys. <laughs> we love you.